So working on a Warhammer 40,000 license, especially Space Marine 2, is, is an amazing honor, and I'm very excited about it. There are millions of people that love this franchise. And one of the scary things about this franchise is that there are millions of people that love this franchise. We didn't just want to create uh, any third-person shooter. We wanted to create a game that embodied the galactic warfare that you, you come to know uh, from this, this franchise. It is a passion piece for all of the people working at Sabre. You know, these are people who've read the novels for years, who've played the games, and so nobody has higher expectations than us. I'm playing physically what amounts to like a super galactic space warrior. You know, these guys are two and a half meters tall. They're probably about 500 pounds before you even put the armor on top of them and their armor you know, it's, it's ginormous. How do you recreate that? And then you see it and you know, suddenly I am two and a half meters tall and um, it's pretty amazing. Most human beings in this world will never see a space marine. They're, they're the stuff of legends. They're known as the angels of death, his angels. When one appears on the battlefield, it's like seeing an angel of God. Well, Titus, is, uh, you know, he's been there, done that, seen more than all the other ultramarines. He's an apex predator. Yeah, everything he does with purpose, everything with intention, everything with extreme power. People who've read the books will have expectations about how space marines fight. And so that's been our guiding principle behind uh, the gameplay that we created. One of my favorite parts of uh, the trailer release at the Game Awards was watching the feedback that people gave afterwards. And I saw all this excitement over just a tiny few snippets of gameplay. And I just kept thinking, wait till you see what we got for you. Wait till you see what's next.